Triceratops is a genus of herbivorous dinosaurs that lived during the late Cretaceous period, approximately 68 to 66 million years ago. It is one of the most well-known and recognizable dinosaurs, thanks in large part to its distinctive appearance and the numerous fossils that have been discovered over the years. The first Triceratops fossil was discovered in Colorado, United States. First described in 1889 by the American paleontologist Othniel Charles Marsh, who named the species Triceratops horridus. The name Triceratops means three-horned face, and the dinosaur is characterized by its large skull, which features a bony frill and three horns. The two larger horns are located above the eyes, while the smaller horn is located on the nose. The frill, which extends from the back of the skull, is believed to have served as a form of protection or as a display feature to attract mates. Triceratops was a massive animal, comparable in size to an African elephant. It can grow up to 9 meters and weighed well over 5 tons, some large specimens weighed nearly 7 tons. Despite its size, it was a herbivore, feeding on a variety of vegetation, including ferns, cycads, and conifers. Triceratops had strong limbs to move and support its massive body. The forelimbs, which were shorter than the rear ones, each had three hooves, the rear limbs had four hooves each. Triceratops had an upright posture like an elephant's, rather than a sprawling, elbows-out posture like a lizard's. Triceratops was a quadruped, with a sturdy body and four powerful legs. Its front legs were shorter than its hind legs, which gave it a slightly sloping appearance. This posture, combined with the shape of its head, led some scientists to speculate that Triceratops may have used its head as a battering ram, charging into other dinosaurs in order to defend itself or establish dominance. The head of Triceratops was among the largest of all land animals, some making up one-third of the entire length of the dinosaur's body. The largest skull found has an estimated length of 2.5 meters. One of the most interesting aspects of Triceratops is the variation in its frill and horns. Some specimens have frills that are short and triangular, while others have frills that are longer and more curved. Some individuals have longer horns, while others have shorter ones. These variations have led to speculation that Triceratops may have used its horns and frill for different purposes. It is likely Triceratops horns and frill were used in combat against other Triceratops, as well as for visual display. The two brow horns appear to have twisted and lengthened as a Triceratops aged. In juvenile years, its horns were little stubs that curved backward, as the animal continued to grow into young adulthood, the horns straightened out. Finally, the horns curved forward and grew up to one meter long, probably after the dinosaur reached maturity. The dinosaur also used its horns and frill in fights against its main predator, Tyrannosaurs. Paleontologists have uncovered brow horn and skull triceratops bones that were partially healed from Tyrannosaur tooth marks, suggesting the triceratops successfully fended off its attacker. But Tyrannosaurus rex bite marks on other Triceratops bones suggests the carnivore did sometimes feed on the horned dinosaur.
Its diet mainly consisted of plants, such as ferns, cycads, and conifers. It had a beak-like mouth that was ideal for cropping and nipping at vegetation. It also had large, strong teeth at the back of its mouth that were used for grinding tough plant material. Triceratops likely had a varied diet and may have fed on different types of vegetation depending on the season and availability. It may have also migrated to different areas in search of food. Studies of Triceratops fossils have revealed evidence of gastroliths, which are small rocks that dinosaurs would swallow to help break down tough plant material in their stomachs. Triceratops had rows of teeth that were constantly replaced throughout its lifetime. It had as many as 800 teeth during its life. Fossil evidence suggests that Triceratops may have lived in herds, as many individuals have been found in close proximity to one another. Despite its formidable appearance, Triceratops was not invincible. Like all dinosaurs, it eventually went extinct, possibly as a result of the same catastrophic event that wiped out the rest of the dinosaurs at the end of the Cretaceous period. In conclusion, Triceratops is a fascinating dinosaur that has captured the imaginations of scientists and the general public alike. Its distinctive appearance, with its three horns and bony frill, make it one of the most easily recognizable dinosaurs, while its size and strength have led to speculation about its behavior and lifestyle. Although Triceratops is no longer with us, it continues to inspire wonder and curiosity, and it is likely to remain a popular subject of scientific study in popular culture for many years to come. What the hell?